The Nerf Magnus is a great Nerf gun to paint simply due to its size. The amount of space that you've got on the fore end here means you can put practically any design and make it big enough that it'll stand out from a distance. It really is just a massive, massive pistol. Case in point here is where I decided to put the Union Jack flag on a Nerf gun. This was the only one I'd use simply because I could get the Cross of St. George and the two Saltiers of St. Andrew and St. Patrick on with enough space that you could see it clearly. Now let me just give you a walk around here. Just going around. Now what I started to do with this is first off I painted the hand grips black and the barrel black and then the entire body was all white. When that was done then I masked off for the cross. Now the one thing is where those hand grips are on the top slide masking there to cut little bits of masking tape to get it in there as you'll see and then when that was done then I proceeded with the saltier of St Andrew I did the blue there and I had to measure off those distances and that angle same with there and there and there as well now you'll notice it's not really symmetrical at certain points because the Union Jack itself isn't symmetrical and I thought I'd be clever and try and copy that, which just added to the complication. So as you can see, you've got the cross going along. You've got the salt here, St. Andrew, going around there as well. You've got it being as pointed as possible, which is difficult on a 3D object with so many bumps and curves and angles. It really is insane, this. But when I'd got that one on, then I thought I'd put the final facility of St. Patrick, which is close up on one side of the flag. And again, close up there, but has a distance between it and the third part, St. Andrew's flag. Like I said, if you look on the actual flag, it's kind of as close as possible I could get it while keeping it on the gun. But yeah, this was... Each time I masked off each colour, so it looks like there's three colours, but there's one, two, three, four masks, five if you count the hand, the hand grip and the barrel. And you will also note that I've used my trusty Citadel lead belcher paint on most of the raised edges, as you can see there, to give the effect that this is paint on a real gun that has been slowly worn and chipped away. Because, again, I based this on, I saw a Glock painted with the uh, American flag. And that's what I started with on my Nerf Magnus, my other Nerf Magnus. And I thought I'd copy it on this as well. So there's all the steel edges. So there's the steel being worn away there. Especially on the front, especially on, I'm going to flip this around better so you can see it. There on the barrel. And of course, after doing that, of course it still fires the Mega Darts. I also painted just a couple of sprays of black paint in there. And does it still fire? Oh yeah, still fires. And they're whistling darts as well and they travel for miles. I never upgrade the springs on these things because I'm always worried they'll break the internals. And after spending so long painting them, breaking the internals is the last thing I want to do. And the stock springs on this are good anyway. So there it is. Lots of masking tape, lots and lots of hours. And some final flourishes with lead belcher just to give that worn steel effect. See, even just there, just on that there, just that little angle, just changes it just from a blue colour, just into this worn steel, very 3D object, like I said before. But that's it, and that's what I did for this, and it took forever, and I'll never do another one. But thanks for watching.